Welcome to Droppy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. And I'm Karina. And today, we four are the warriors of light. Uh, and what? we're going to finally, we're going to uh, log on uh, to the, the massively multiplayer online world of Final Fantasy 14. Finally, oh, we okay. get to fantasy. <laughs> finally, finally, fantasy. Oh, the server's full. Oh, Dang no. it. Episode over. Episode over. It's okay. I'm not a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Final Fantasy 14 bosses today because I've been playing it a lot and I've been having a really good time and enjoying <laughs> it. And I just wanted to, to make you all draw stuff from it. And then I get to sit back and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yeah, for me. And that's what matters. And that's what matters. <laughs> fun for Jacob day. today on Drawfee. Nathan, do you want to go first? If that would be fun for you, then yes. It would be really <laughs> fun for me. Okay. <laughs> Nathan, your boss from Final Fantasy XIV online, the game. Mm -hmm. The sequel, the prequel, the is sequel. Sephiroth. No. Eh? Sephiroth. Sephiroth? Yes. That's a French person yeah. trying to say Sephiroth. <laughs> they misspelled <laughs> Sephiroth in the game itself. I almost said your boss. <laughs> Your boss is Sephiroth. The, the H had to go somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you had to reclaim the H. Uh, let me tell you about Sephiroth. Okay, Nathan. tell me about Sephiroth. Him. Not to be confused with Sephiroth. Oh. They are different. They're different? How different? Very. Okay. Sep Sephiroth <laughs> was created near the end of the third astral era oh, by sure. the collective faith of a tree-like race from a tree that they revered in Maricidia to repel invaders from the Allegan Empire. Is he a tree? He's not a tree, but he was created from tree-like people that summoned him. Uh, he's powerful, but he was captured and imprisoned, and the Allegans were draining his life force. The Allegans? The Alligators? I hate when the Alligators drain my life force. And you got to go there in the game and, and unseal and defeat him before he can escape and unleash unthinkable catastrophe. Why'd they name him Sephiroth? Is he a rotting Sephiroth? I, you know, I wish he was. <laughs> I wish there was any connection between Sephiroth Because that's what I'm drawing. Sephiroth. I'm drawing like a gross rotting. Wait, they're not connected? They're not connected. Theory. Then why? <laughs> Theory. I and mean, it's a great question. It's like a fruit that fell off the life tree. Uh huh. And that's why it's rotting. Uh huh. But they looked at it and they were like, hey, does, doesn't an apple look like a Sephiroth? <laughs> like, yeah, more like Sephiroth. <laughs> oh. oh. That's what I'm calling Dang, him. Dang, got it. Yeah. Him. Did they just call him that because they thought it was cute and funny? This, this wiki says that Sephiroth and the other two deities of the Warring Triad are based on their Final Fantasy VI counterparts. Sephiroth himself was inspired by the Fiend, and his name was taken from the working name he was initially given before simply being called Fiend in Final Fantasy VI. What? Fiend. What? So That's... in VI, there was a boss called <laughs> Fiend, and apparently the boss's working name was Sephiroth. And I wonder if that's where they got Sephiroth Yeah, and then from. they went, no, no. I don't think that's a good name for this guy. Call him Fiend. Call him Fiend. We got to workshop the name <laughs> Sephiroth. You know, it's so close. Something I feel about like just it. one letter, just one letter away from being perfect. What could it be? Apparently, if you read the kana of the name, it is meant to be spelled as Sephiroth, like the same as the one from Final Fantasy VII. Uh -huh. And apparently no Sephiroth is the is the medieval Hebrew form of Sephiroth, which is a plural noun in Hebrew. And the, the Sephiroth are described in the Kabbalah as the manifestations of God that allow him to manifest in the physical and metaphysical universes. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So yeah. think about that. Uh, Why don't you think about that for a second? I'm trying. Think about all the uh. languages at play here to make Sephiroth. It's if, been translated like four <laughs> times to get here. And if you connect them with uh, a red string, it forms a star. Wow, that's so beautiful. And the Freemasons are actually the ones behind Final Fantasy. Wow, that's so beautiful. That wow. is beautiful. We've beautiful. uncovered a truth. If you hold Sephiroth up to the horizon, you can actually see that there's no curve and that Whoa. the earth is flat. <laughs> if you take a... 
a toy <laughs> airplane that's really big compared to a globe and make it fly around a globe, you can tell that uh, it's actually Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> if you look very closely. <laughs> the truth is out there. The truth is out there, and the truth is Sephiroth is a gross, rotting Sephiroth, and you can't convince me otherwise. I'm going to give him a horn. I mean, what else could it be? But he's also a tree man, we've established. Yeah, yeah a bunch of tree people uh, use their collective faith to summon him, as uh, you do. So he's as got, you do. He's got, like, tree bits. There's a whole thing in Final Fantasy 14 where like if a race of creatures believes something hard enough, it they summon it into existence. Oh, isn't yeah. that like a, a theory of the universe and how the universe how we were all made? Is that we collectively all thought ourselves into existence? I have heard that before and I think that's making an appearance here because that's like a big part of the game is that <laughs> these like beast tribe races will think really hard about how much they want Ifrit to be real. And then he shows up and you have to go fight him because he's going to destroy everything. All right. Who thought really hard about Efrit having big boobies? I mean, come on. Who did Who it? Who manifested Who... the big boobies? Who did it? We all agreed Fess what Efrit would look like. But it's also just like, man, I'm really glad that doesn't work for like us. Because I think the collective things the Droppy fandom would think up oh, yeah, uh, and manifest as reality would be yeah. really rough for everyone involved. <laughs> well, Stop I mean, thinking, guys. <laughs> if, they, if they keep saying it in the comments, eventually we do make it happen. We're not. <laughs> most, of the, most of the time. Some people know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> we're, we're fickle deities. Yeah. <laughs> We don't listen to all your prayers. <laughs> Just the ones we happen to notice. Yeah. <laughs> and like the best. <laughs> Just like God. This one I think is fun. Let's do this one. This one, mm, not so much. Not it a fan of this too much prayer. hands. <laughs> too many hands to draw. <laughs> is that your God voice? I'm feeling Sounds kind of like yeah. Werner Herzog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I hate this drawing I've done. Is I that, think it's good. Is that I think okay? It's good. Think good. It's a rotting tree Sephiroth, which it is feels correct. like it feels like a Diablo, a Diablo's character. <laughs> what I need to do is stop trying to make this body make sense. I think just make him a tree and just make yeah. it fully a tree. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now, what kind uh, of body shape do you have? Hourglass tree. <laughs> or pear. <laughs> or pear. I'm not gonna bother. He does have the pauldrons. The, but the, the pauldrons are made out of wood. Yeah. He do have shoulder, but yeah. no not, leg. No not leg. Uh I can confirm, by the way, just so no one is wondering, that uh -huh. Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII did inherit his name from the unused name. From oh Final my Fantasy god. VI. Mystery solved. You so know it is that is what happened. Wow. And then they brought back that name when they moved the monster into 14 just to confuse everyone. Yep. Yeah, it does confuse me. They were like, hey, we've never used this name before, right? We can use it? <laughs> we can use this name? <laughs> this isn't the name of like a really famous character, right? If it, if it is, surely I would know. <laughs> I haven't heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tetsuya Nomura, and I've never heard of it. <laughs> Tetsuya Nomura didn't work on Final Fantasy XIV, so How don't worry about that. How dare you put these lies wow. out here? I can't believe you're lying about this one thing and only. <laughs> <laughs> He's just the first name I can think of when I think of Final Fantasy. The only lie you've ever told. Yeah, it felt really bad. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever lie again on a Drafi episode? I can't imagine I would. It's mm. only truths from here on out, baby. Truth fee. Truth be. <laughs> That's our conspiracy theorist YouTube spinoff channel. Don't worry, it'll be really cute. We'll do like little sped up drawings while we're talking about the real truths of yeah. the universe. While we're talking about just like the most dumb ass shit anyone's ever heard. <laughs> so, Drawfee. You've described Drawfee. <laughs> yeah. We've come full circle. But imagine if Nothing the things we talked changed. about were harmful. <laughs> oh. Imagine if we did harm instead of neutral. So that's our new side project? Yeah, yeah. I guess we should do something actively <laughs> harmful. If we if we imagine the harm enough, it'll 
uh, come into existence. It, yeah, yeah. It'll come into existence. <laughs> wow. Sephiroth is taking us dark places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just realized that Final Fantasy XIV is just the secret, the game. It's a game version of the book, The Secret. Wow. <laughs> if you think about it hard enough and put it on your vision board, it comes true. <laughs> What are some of the moves? Should we have discussed this already? I mean, it's it's too late to go into the. Give moves. me I don't a even move. Know if I can find the moves. Give me on one on. move. Page. Give us one move. Can, can I get go? one move, please? <laughs> we went into the deep history of his name. <laughs> Every move in Final Fantasy XIV just makes the entire screen explode in fireworks twenty four seven. All right, so. let's get some fireworks. That sounds fun. He's down not going to draw party. fireworks. I changed my mind. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Take it all back. Because you'll have to render that. <laughs> yeah. None of his moves are listed here, but assume that they make everything explode or shoot giant beams. All right. Let's just get like a few explodies happening yeah. in the background. I thought I thought that was one of those fireworks that goes spinny. <laughs> oh, I love those. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> Sephiroth shoots off the really funny ones. Yeah. They make like <laughs> funny noises. He's got a bunch of um, hen laying eggs and stuff. That's my favorite funny firework. It's very small. It's actually not that great, but I like the name. It's a good name. He has a firework <laughs> that when it explodes in the sky, it forms a picture of like a little butt doing a toot. Yeah. <laughs> you go in the boss arena and he's like, you guys want to do a Roman candle fight? <laughs> and he gives like, you all Roman candles and you shoot them at each other <laughs> while he films it on his iPhone 6 <laughs> in vertical mode. <laughs> Yo. I've been fighting a lot of people today. How about we just uh, bust out the sparklers? It's really expensive to buy all these fireworks. Y'all want some brewskis? <laughs> I was just reminded of, um, I saw a video of like this couple doing like a gender reveal where it shoots out the thing. And uh -huh. the dude had it upside down and shot it directly into his own dick. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> great. It made, me, That's it made me laugh really hard. <laughs> More of a that, boy, please. by the way. Yeah, that man is only having one child. <laughs> the only good gender reveal. <laughs> if you want to do one, you have to blast it directly into your own genitals. <laughs> it's the only way it's allowed. It's equality. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, if you think about it. I've just added several mushrooms. Aww. I'm a fan of this. I remembered that is also a rot. Thing. Yeah, that's a rot thing. Just rot things. This is Sephiroth, and uh, I won't hear any uh, <laughs> complaints. Why don't you look up what the real one looks like? Okay, you were close. <laughs> oh, you were really close. Yeah, you were close. Absolutely, you were yeah. close. Oh, I see no difference. <laughs> this looks like the the swole monster you have to fight in uh, Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, it kind of does. Oh, yeah, it kind of does have that vibe. This what? looks like Drago like from so Ring jacked. Fit Adventure. So, Every arm on this thing is jacked. Yeah, I didn't make him jacked enough, but I did draw Sephiroth's head all gross coming out of a tree. <laughs> So I like what you drew is the thing. I was so sure that this is exactly what it was going to be. Well, it's not. So you didn't really do it. I think I did it. But you at the same time, you did do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's beautiful. Karina, you want to do one? Yeah. Uh, Karina, are you ready for your boss? Yes. Your boss is <laughs> Niel Deus Darnus. Darn. <laughs> Say is darnest. That's exactly why I picked it. It's it's Niles from Frasier saying darn. It's, it's N A E L. So it's either nail or Nile. Nail. I don't know how it's actually pronounced. Tell me more about this Dingus Darnus, please. Um, Dingus Darnus. So there's a lot of history with Dingus Darnus. Um, One would hope. But just to get you started. Uh -huh. um, she was the the final boss of the original Final Fantasy fourteen before they had to reboot it because the game was bad. Mm -hmm. uh, but she and and in that one she was called Nail Van Darnus. Oh, but then she dies, uh -huh. and then in A Realm Reborn when they rebooted <laughs> it, uh, she comes back. But now she's like a dragon lady. Dragon, dragon okay. lady. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you, like when she comes back, she becomes Nail Deus Darnus. And she turns worm-like, W-Y-R-M. 
Oh. Uh, due to Bahamut's influence, uh, getting wings and claws. Yes. I'd love to get a bucket of wings and claws. Dude, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, give me a bucket of wings. Hey, Bahamut. Hey, Bahamut. Can you pick me up a bucket of wings and claws? For the big game. For the big game. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Um, something that is important about her is that she has a gun halberd. Oh, hell yeah. And What's that a halberd? Gun ha- that gun halberd has a name, uh-huh. and its name is Bradamante. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bradamante. A halberd is a long pole that has essentially like an axe head at the top, more or less. Yeah. You know those okay. ones that are yeah, yeah, yeah. big wedges? But this is a gun halberd. But it's a but gun a too. Gun halberd. Yeah. It's got a gun at the end. And its name is Bradamante. <laughs> Bradamante. I love that. So it's <laughs> essentially called Brad. <laughs> it's my halberd Brad. Yeah. Bradamante is like a cool nickname you would give your friend Brad. Yeah. Bradamante. Oh, Bradamante. <laughs> oh. Got the Bradamante. Pick me up those. Wings and claws, <laughs> please. Um, Deus Dingus uh, sounds like, or what was it? Deus Darnus. Deus Darnus. Dingus Darnus. Dingus Darnus. It sounds like a uh, like a Latin sort of like curse phrase. Well, she's part of like the Garlean Empire, the, which they have the like these sort Empire. of like Latin the, the title garlic, names. The garlic, garlic Empire. Empire. She's garlic part of the Garlic, garlic. Empire. She has such deep lore. She was also believed to be a man by everyone. Oh. Because she wore masculine armor. And, no uh, booby plate? Then turns out, well, as a dragon lady, mm-hmm. she looks a lot more feminine. I figured that Maybe there's that like much. a lesson here <laughs> about you know <laughs> the power of, of accepting femininity. I feel like she's supposed to have a lady head, but I gave her a dragon head and I'm not changing it. Don't. But fine, I'll give her titties. (laughs) (laughs) Since you asked. (laughs) Her armor now is kind of like, it's part organic. Mm, It's kind of like organic. There's like armor parts, but then like dragon parts. So she do have some dragon titties. I had the feeling. I actually only use organic armor um it's just better it's better for the environment if you can make the switch you really should yeah you won't believe the difference it makes can't cover the titties you gotta know they're there you gotta know that they're there yeah so important this is character design <laughs> this is character development <laughs> before she thought she had to dress as a man to assume power but now she now knows she's she a dragon a, she could be a titty dragon and be yeah <laughs> When you're a dragon, you can have your titties out any day of the week. <laughs> Who's going to tell you not to? It's empowering. Sweaty. You're welcome. Sweaty. <laughs> it's called empowerment, sweaty. <laughs> God, I love Final Fantasy designs. They really crack me up. But the the end is a gun. <laughs> This is just an axe with a gun head. This is not a halberd. I, I, I don't know what a halberd is. It's a Bradamante. It's only got, it's only got one, this is one Brad. axe. One axe side. Oh. I thought all axes had two so that and no really they don't. Long. That was a silly that was a silly thing to think. It is Karina. long. It's just long going. She's yeah, she's just holding it holding really high. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see it's going off screen? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, come on. It's so long. She's just holding it's it weird. As long as you believe it to be. Yeah. And then sometimes there's a little spiky at the end, but since it's a gun halberd, I guess it's it don't kind of say. I'm very interested yeah. to see. <laughs> <laughs> where the gun actually is. I'm interested to see where you This draw is the it. gun. Yeah, no. gun. <laughs> yeah. I, you I, see meant, that? I meant Here's on the, the handle. The actual one. But yeah. Well, actually, the handle would be way further down because it's really long. It's really long. Is <laughs> she's, the just thing. Holding, <laughs> she's just holding the, the part. I forget what gun parts are called. The part. The trigger. <laughs> you know. There's you know. The, there's the, the part. Brad and the Monte. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's just holding it really high on the brad. <laughs> <laughs> That's at least what the parts of her gun are called. Oh, do I have to draw armor? 
Armor is hard to draw. I mean, you could draw whatever you want. It's organic. Yeah. Really. You're right. It's organic. Oh, that's right. It's already wrong. So it doesn't matter what you do from here. Okay. What do dragon titties do? Um, <laughs> What do dragon titties do, though? That's More like, you. what do dragon titties don't? You know. What I mean? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do they don't do? What, what do, do they, they don't, don't do? Not do. Yes. Dragon oh, I like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that seems right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this kind of looks like a digivolved Neopet. <laughs> this is a um, female Scorchio. You can tell because she has eyelashes. Uh, <laughs> whereas male Scorchios do. don't. <laughs> <laughs> they have nothing to protect their eyes from <laughs> dust and particles. That's how you show. <laughs> That's the price of gender. <laughs> <laughs> the price of gender. <laughs> I hate designing armor. Armor's hard. Armor is hard. Everyone should be vulnerable <laughs> all the time. Wow, I see on Drawfee there's no amour for armor. Nice. Mm. I'm taking that out. Let's take a deep uh. breath. <laughs> <laughs> Can we unmanifest that joke, please? <laughs> I liked it. No, <laughs> Julia, it was good. I liked it. Thank you, Nathan. Bet you wish you could just draw a tree and call it a day. Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> At least I know what trees look like. Trees can be anything. <laughs> trees can be anything. She kind of looks like she's yelling at someone for for like <laughs> flirting with Bradamante. <laughs> Are you looking at Brad? You looking at Bradamante? Don't look at Bradamante like Don't that. Don't you even look at my man, Bradamante. Never talk to me or my Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I did the thing where I put her way on the right again. <laughs> well, now you have a lot of room for text. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll add some text in post. Maybe I'll, what's it? I'm going to give her a tail. You can also draw some cool fireworks. Now she's a scaly. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you know she's doing lasers and shit. Yeah. Beams. Yeah. Blasts. Splodies. Let's have some splodies. I'll make these look good in post. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know I will. And then there'll be some hen laying eggs on the ground for me as a treat. Is that a type of firework? I don't know. Yes. I don't this get is this a reference. very specific type of firework. I just. Whenever I get fireworks like back home, you can't light those in Houston, but we do it anyway, but we always get really small ones. So hen laying egg, you light the tail and then it just makes a bunch of sparks come out of the butt like it's pooping or laying egg and then it screams. <laughs> And I like those. Amazing. I think they're cute and I like that they scream. <laughs> and laying eggs. I never knew about them until right right just now, and I love them too. So I'm glad everyone should love hen laying egg, because I love them. Anyway, did I did I do it? I yeah, you totally did it. did it. I forgot her name. Dingus her name Dingus Dungus? What was it? Dingus Darnus. Deus Darnus. It's uh, it's pretty much kind of what you would Oh, expect. I like her armor. She has cool armor. Yeah. I just drew a dragon. <laughs> Deus, darnus. Darnus, dingus. I don't think I got very close on this one, but I still like it. Oh, she does look really cool. I always expect Final Fantasy lady armors to just be a bikini. That is genuinely what I was expecting for this yeah. one. So now I feel silly. Maybe you're the one. I played Who Final Fantasy fourteen. Your own preconceived. Julia, emotions. maybe we are the problem. Maybe we are the <laughs> problem, Karina. You're the problem. You and I. <laughs> yeah, us specifically. <laughs> maybe Julia and Karina are the problem. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> Julia. Julia, are you ready for your Final Fantasy boss? No. <laughs> your boss <laughs> is called Phlegathon. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that where they raise money for a charity? Yeah, they raise money for Flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the annual Flagathon. Flagathon? <laughs> Jacob, Flagathon? Yeah, Flagathon. 
According to legend, <laughs> Phlegathon was the hero of an Allegan uprising before he was sealed within Crystal Tower and augmented with his people's technology. So he's like a, a robot man now? I can tell you that Phlegathon appears as a giant golden humanoid wielding a large curved blade. Don't we all? And black patterns or tattoos across his body. Okay. He's Phlegathon. <laughs> and you're happy to see him. Yeah. My good friend Phlegathon. My good friend Phlegathon. <laughs> I was going to draw him as like some sort of phlegm monster. My neighbor Phlegathon. My neighbor Phlegathon. <laughs> Robots can be phlegm. No, robots can. I don't think <laughs> robots can be phlegm. Okay. We got to draw the line somewhere, I guess. <laughs> I will tell you that he is humanoid, but he definitely looks weirder than you expect. Oh, a perfect subject for <laughs> Julia to draw. <laughs> yeah. He definitely is a weird looking dude. <sighs> a weird looking dude, huh? Yeah. And he's giant and golden. Giant, a giant, golden, weird looking dude. Yeah. Phlegathon. So these alligators, they're just like sealing people away and having uprisings and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, they're the classic ancient civilization mm. of the game mm. world where you're like, they had all this technology and now it's lost to time, mm. but they got up to some shit that's affecting us still today. Classic. Classic. <laughs> Don't you hate it when they do that? It's kind of like when you play Elder Scrolls, you see the Dwemer ruins. The Dwemer ruins. <laughs> the Dwemer ruins. And you're ruins. like, what were these dwarves up to in here? What were they doing in there? They made everything all crazy, and there's robots. They got all these robots. The robots are still doing stuff, but the, the yeah. Dwemer, where'd they go? <laughs> where'd they go? That's the Allegans. Oh, this is a this is a strong friend. Yeah, this is this I, this is looking right to me. They're big. Julia has taken all of the information from our bosses <laughs> and is applying it. I really like the shapes you have here, Julia. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. No, it's a Final Fantasy boss. He has to have more. I was about to say, does he just have like a sensible, <laughs> like Great Clips haircut? <laughs> <laughs> An unremarkable men's haircut? <laughs> I have been released from the tower. My first task is to go to Supercuts. I would like the number two, please. These prices are outrageous. I do want to say before people call me out for being a poser that okay. I'm only in the Heaven's Word expansion of the game. And so some of these bosses and things I have not fought yet. But this one I have. Nice. So I have personally murdered Phlegathon. Hooray. <laughs> and I, I would and will probably do it again. That's what that's what's great about um, being a boss in an MMO instead of just a regular non MMO video game is like you get killed a bunch, but you keep coming back. Yeah, to get killed again. Yeah. And maybe you win sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you win and yeah. a whole bunch of people just wasted an evening. Yeah. And that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Friendships ruined because of you, because someone didn't stand in the right place when you used your AOE. Nathan, it's hitting me hard because I did that the other night. I stood in the wrong. Oh, place. Oh, you and... stood in the wrong place, dude. <laughs> and, Whoa! And it was a it was a full raid wipe because uh, I wasn't in the right place. Dang! You gotta stand in the right place. To be fair, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> That's basically all of my experiences with MMOs is just standing in the wrong place, having someone yell at me because I was standing in the wrong place, and then uh, wishing I had spent my evening doing anything else. <laughs> I got to say, Final Fantasy XIV has the nicest community of any MMO I've ever played, and I have yet to be yelled at by a single person Whoa. despite numerous mistakes. They didn't even in yell fact, at you when you stood in the wrong place? No. Wow. I was in one where this one guy kept not paying attention and messing up the same thing every attempt, and I was like, should we just leave the party? And the other guy was like, no, I know we can do this if we work together. <laughs> Some about the like anime determination. I think it's because the game is very anime. Yeah. And so the people that play it have that anime. Yeah, you hero. just can't help yourself. Yeah. And so every time I'm just like, why are the people in this game so friendly? Like no one has ever gotten mad at me. <laughs> They're always just like, it's all good. We'll get it next time. <laughs> Julia, is is this guy doing some like carpal tunnel stretches? <laughs> 
I thought he was supposed to be a robot. That, oh. Uh, he's not a robot. <laughs> he's, I'll tell you, he's not a robot. What was he? He's a man, but he is infused with Allegan technologies. Yeah. But he's actually okay, not a, a robot. Okay, a cyborg. This is an Allegan. I'm sorry, I confused the two. An Allegan stretch. Yeah, a classic Allegan stretch. He's doing yeah. that bodybuilder thing, you know? He's loading. I just want to tell you all that the bosses leading up to him in the dungeon where you fight him are Bone Dragon, Thanatos, Aww. and King Behemoth. Aw. Those are all just good names. Those are great names. It also kind of sounds like what you'd call your boys. Bone Dragon. I'm calling up Bone Dragon, Thanatos, and King Behemoth. <laughs> I've decided that he has a little cat. We're going to meet up with Brad Amante at the... At the Double Wings. It's a restaurant <laughs> I just made up. The Double Wings and Claws. The double yeah. Wings. Yeah. It sounds like it could be real, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It does. Thank you. Julia, where did the cat friend come from? Yeah. Uh, I've decided he has one. All the big <laughs> bosses in Final Fantasy have a little friend. <laughs> no, they don't. All the big bosses <laughs> in Final Fantasy have a little friend. And they say, say hello to my little friend. Yeah, they all say that. <laughs> Why doesn't he have a face? I got, I'm, I'm, I got a lot to tackle, okay? He kind of has a, a face yeah. on his chest. His, yeah, he does. His nippies and the, he's the doing thing a little, before the abs look like a face. He's doing yeah. a little like cat, little cat mouth. I know anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> the only anatomy you need to know is nippies and the thing before the rib cage. Oh, and he's sponsored by Gatorade. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Well, you said he's covered in like swirly tattoos or whatever. What yeah, was it? I just said he's covered in black tattoos. Okay. Julia, your ability to make the the tattoos contour to the body is very good. Oh, thank you. I will say. Oh, it's, oh wow. Uh, it's got some stuff. Is it going to be like a no fear? No regret. No regrets? <laughs> is it no regrets? No, it's not. No rest. No rest. No rest. No rest for who? Uh, you don't know. No rest of the tattoo. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no rest of the sentence. <laughs> Can you have like some the hint of knuckle tattoos? Yeah. Don't they don't need to say anything. I just need to know that they're there. And also a knuckles tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> Can you have a knuckles tattoo? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he doesn't have to have a knuckles tattoo. That was a joke. That was a joke. I Julia knows what Knuckles looks like. Um, it doesn't have to. Yeah, it's it's a. This one was done by Brad Amante. <laughs> that's did Sonic. It himself looking yeah, down. That's Sonic. <laughs> no, he's got spiky knuckles. Oh, okay. But he has Sonic's entire head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God, it's so close to the nippy. This is Julia's thirty-second <laughs> Knuckles, I think. <laughs> Give Flagathon a face. All right, Coward. All right, all right. He deserves it. Yes. After all he's done. Yes. Okay, good. I love it. He's I'm perfect. Flagathon. I'm Flagathon. <laughs> I'm Flagathon. <laughs> Do you want to play Smash Bros? Do you like my tats? <laughs> no West. It's because my mommy said no West until I eat my broccoli. <laughs> I'm Flegathon. <laughs> oh, it's like a little metal face plate. Uh, oh, it's like a, disturbing. It's like a smo. This is yeah. kind of like a smo. It's like a smo. It's a smo. Oh, he has From a dark souls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you forgot uh -huh. his curve, his curved blade. Oh. Oh wow, it's really curving. It's really oh. curving. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like, like a circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of these ones. It's a sickle. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like a showtel. Literally, the only reference I had for that was uh, Gundam Wing. I don't want a pickle. I just want to slash you with my sickle. <laughs> Good job, Nathan. <laughs> Good job, Nathan. No rest. <laughs> no rest. No res. No res. Well, no res makes sense. No res. He's bro. telling you, please don't res during this fight. It's not fair. <laughs> You'll make me cry if you res. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No res, even if you're standing in the wrong place. Yeah, even if you're standing in the wrong place. <laughs> um, this is what's his name? Flagathon. Flag yeah, how could you forget? Fle Flag Flagathon. Flagathon. Oh, he is going to be very sweaty. Yeah, oh, he's good. sweaty. Important. And maybe he's got, like a little shiny. 
Julia, I think you should design all the bosses for MMOs. Yeah. yeah. Cuz if this <laughs> if I came into a room and this was there, I would be astonished. Get <laughs> a good way or a bad way? Astonished. Astonished. Oh. It would be yeah. just like <laughs> you know an indescribable sensation. Did I mention that he's very, very tall? Yeah, of he's course. Very tall. I mean, we're, he's a giant. we're looking. It feels like I'm looking up at him. Yeah. Okay. He he doesn't even fit on the canvas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how big he is. Uh, would you like to see the real Phlegathon? Yeah. Oh. oh, he looks like a Castlevania. He really does look like a Castlevania. Yeah. Wow. He's dressed way more horny than the dragon woman is. Yeah. You got his chest right, though. Yeah, you got it exactly yeah. right. Like, Titties out. Yeah. yeah. Dang, what a horny. This is a JoJo. This he is. A JoJo. He's a JoJo Castlevania. Instead, I drew a buff a Lego Man, you did give him a Lego <laughs> man face. That's what that face is. <laughs> really good. Well, these are our three bosses uh, that will be in the new patch for fourteen. <laughs> Look forward to it. Yeah, the existing ones into these ones, <laughs> and I think the fan base will go wild for it. You have to beat yeah. Dangus before you beat mine because you need to get the wood chopping axe so you can chop oh, down. Yeah. Brad. You have to get yeah. Brad to chop down Sephiroth. <laughs> and then Phlegathon's there too. And then Phlegathon's just there. Yeah. <laughs> he won't fight you unless you start stuff with him. Yeah, don't start stuff with Phlegathon. He just stands there posing for you the yeah. whole time. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Droppy. <laughs> we did it again. It's all over again. If you want to see more stuff, you could subscribe. Yeah. Hit the like button. It's not going to cost you anything to do. Yeah, you can yes. you can even click the bell and then you'll know when our videos go up. Yeah. And if you if you do want it to cost you something, you can go to Patreon. That's true. And that one will cost you something, but get this, that money that it costs you goes to us. It goes wow. right to us and then you get rewards depending on how much money you give us. Yeah, and that's all great. Everyone can agree. We're sorry. 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 <laughs>